Okay, so what do we have here today? We've got COVID-19, the China virus, the coronavirus, China lied, people died. Big fucking snafu. Now, you're, you're thinking, what, what the hell is this? What is he showing us here? What is this? Well, what I've done is I've broken down this right here. This is the, the you've got your global cases, you've got your United, United States cases, and then, of course, I'm in Arizona, so I've got Arizona, Arizona cases. cases here. But when you look at these numbers, yes, they seem, they seem, they seem like a lot. They, I mean, yes, 224,000 people died this year so far from this virus, according to the count that they have going on currently. And yes, three over three million people have gotten the virus, and about a million people have, you know, recovered from. It. Those are the numbers they give you. They show you this big old bar graph or this line graph, and then this line just shoots up at this exorbitant rate. Well, here's the thing. We didn't start majorly testing this until the shutdown. What does that mean? Well, you take your regular testing. You, you've got your testing, and that's your benchmark. And then what they did was they increased the amount of tests they were doing, and they're saying, well, now we have more people testing positive. That means that it's growing at an alarming rate. No. Your, 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 your testing structure has grown. The more you test, the more number of positives you're going to get. You can change how many people you test, but the, the stats are going to stay the same. Oh, well, you know, they had, last month they only had this many people testing positive, and now this many people are testing positive. Well, of course, they're testing 250 times more people now. <laughs> of course, they're going to have this huge growth in amount of people that are testing positive. See, like this. They tested 100 people. One person tested positive. Now, they're testing 1,000 people, and 10 people are testing positive. Oh, no, more people are testing positive. Yes, but... Your baseline has changed, but it's changed enough so that when you, you know, fraction it off, it's the it's the same thing, one in a hundred. Now, showing this graph right here, this guy right here, this is the U.S. COVID nineteen chart. You see that little sliver of blue in the middle there? Yeah, that's that's your cases your deaths and your recovery all lumped into one little itty bitty sliver because when they show you charts when they show you the charts they only show you the cases they don't they don't include population because when you include population and your testing factors it just ends up looking like this you've got a US population of, oh, what was it, uh, 333 million, some hundred thousand, something like that. Out of that, you have 1 million people testing positive. Now, this, this line right here, this line, if I were to, you know, zoom in on this, I mean, that, that's all of your numbers right there. That's it. That's that's what we shut down that's what we shut down the country for is that little line right there that little line right there i mean look at that this is what the whole world is upset about now i say world because i did the world too i did the world it it is it is on here let's see oh come on i just had you where did you go? There it is. This, this is, is the world. world. This is the global, global number. Now keep in mind, the globe has 7.8 billion people. 
that's, that's the, the estimated average of people on a population. Global cases is a little over three million. Three million. And that's well that's just that's just the the current count as of you know today. Now we're gonna zoom in, do the same thing as before. There's your there's your line. There it is. That is what shut down this entire country. That's what shut down the world. That little fucking line. It's ridiculous. It is beyond ridiculous. I don't know about you. That doesn't scare me. Effectively, what we're talking about here is less people have died from this than by, say, car accidents or medical malpractice accidents during surgery, heart disease, cancer, heart attack, brain hemorrhaging. The list goes on. So many more people died from other factors or other things than they have from this. We're talking 3 million people around the world. That's ridiculous. We shut down an entire economy and collapsed state and local businesses and it is it's just ridiculous you've got people getting arrested for pushing their kids on the swing you've got people getting arrested because they brought their kid to the bank so that they can start, start a bank account, account after moving to the state, state. You've, you've got, got people, people getting arrested for having their hair cut you're, you're having, having people arrested for going to a funeral, funeral. You're having people arrested for, for being, being in a car with, with one too many people. people. You're having people arrested for paddle bo boarding by themselves in the middle of the fucking ocean. You've got people being arrested for being two people on a bike. It's ridiculous. This destroyed our nation because scary cat little pussies thought, oh, but but it, the news told us it was dangerous because they showed us this graph and there's all all these people are getting infected. And okay, we what we have here is New York brought in a naval ship, medical ship. They only used like 80 beds out of a thousand that they had. You've got doctors creating TikToks where everybody in the hospital is completely working with nobody. You got entire wards where they're just dancing around making TikTok videos or they're out protesting. Stay home, we don't want you. It, it, I literally up at my damn hospital here, the parking lot is empty, and you look in through into the waiting room and there's freaking nurses and doctors sitting on their phones in the waiting room waiting for people because nobody's coming. Nobody's showing up. Nobody's doing anything. Nobody's sick. Well, but we were in a, sh a shutdown. We did we did a shutdown, so that's why our numbers are no. The numbers have not changed since January first. January first until March, whatever, when the, the the shutdown began, our numbers stayed the same. They were stagnant, and, and then, then all of a sudden during, during the shutdown, shutdown we started testing more people. people. So. More people got tested. Oh, look at that. We got all these people. Oh, yeah. Of course, it's going to go up the more you test people. The more people you test, of course, you're going to get higher numbers. But it, the drop off isn't because people stay at home. The drop off is because it's run its course. It, 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 this, this chart, they started this count January 1st. This is how far we've gotten. This is how far we've gotten. And this right here, this global number, that is 0.1% of the population of Earth. 0.1%. That's how much it's affected people. Now, are there more possibly? Are there a lot more? Hell no. 
Is it going to change? If we if we got an accurate count, would it change that line any bit? Probably not. Yeah, it it might add a smidgen to the outer outer edge, but that, that's it. What you're talking about is a disease or a virus that they've tracked since the beginning of the year, and then they they backed it off, saying, "Oh, well, we we started tracking it in October, but you know there were just so few people." Well. The thing is, is if it's been around since October or January, depending on whatever, and this is the amount they can get, even now, even now, with the these numbers have added about maybe twenty percent since the start of the shutdown. So, even if we doubled this for the same amount of time say four months, doubled this, that's six million people dead, or well, six million people sick in eight months. Six million people sick in eight months. That'd be nine million people sick in a year. But, but more, more people, people have recovered than have died. died. And even, even if you, if you, you know, triple, triple that, to cover the entire year, it's still not one million people dead. It might hit one million people dead, but it's not that big of a deal. Oh, but you're not caring for those people. You don't care about human life. I care about human life. I care about my human life. I care about everybody's human, human lives. I care about them. What I don't care about is being locked in a house, not being able to leave, because somebody said that this was something to be worried about. When this first came out, and it was all over the news, more people had died in Chicago from you know drive-by shootings. More people died from slip and falls in a bathtub. Nobody cared. Right now, more people have died from the flu than by this like actual flu stats like the actual stats from the flu more people have died you're looking at 224,708 people dead as of today from this virus we're talking about 500,000 people dead from the flu globally yet we're worried about this this is why we locked down this is why stores are, are getting all screwed up this is bullshit. It pure unadulterated bullshit. This should this is a nothing burger. We need to open back up because the sooner we get get past this, the sooner it's going to be over. The last time the the coronavirus came through, nothing happened. SARS happened. Oh my god. Oh, look at all these people dead. No, well, we do we shut down for that? No. Do we shut down for the last 5 Viruses that hit? No. Did, Did we, we make, make it through? through? Yeah. Did, Did people die? Yeah. yeah. Did, Did we, we make, make a big deal about it? it? Hell no. We, we pushed through. We moved on. We kept trucking along. We tanked the economy because of this. Everything got tanked because of this. This is ridiculous. We need to open up again. We need to we open the damn country again. Because this is this is this this is fucking retarded, and that that I'm using that word in all extent of the word because oh boy this is this is just it's bullshit. I mean these these are CDC numbers, and I want I want you to look at this. I want you to look at this. I want you to look at this goddamn map. We're gonna look at this coronavirus map. I'll do big screen for you. Let's do global. Global overview. That look at that. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh look at all them people. Oh look how, how densely uh, destroyed and distraught and oh that's that's so horrible. 
It's so horrible. I mean, really, look at look at this shit. Yes, all this time we were barely testing, barely testing, barely testing, barely testing, and then all of a sudden we started testing everybody, testing everybody, testing everybody, and the numbers skyrocketed up. Of course, they're gonna skyrocket. You're testing a shit ton of people. You went from testing a hundred people at a time to testing twenty-five thousand at a time. Of course, the numbers are going up. You're testing more people. It's ridiculous. The United States. States. Look at the fucking United States, United States here. Let's look at this. Look at this. Look at all these. Look at this. This this region right here. These people shut down first. These people shut down first. All the places that shut down first have the most cases. States that did not shut down. You know? Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota. Those cases, barely any. Yeah, sure, they have a lower lower you know, population. But in comparison, when you compare the populations and you break it down to per capita, they still have a shit ton less. It's ridiculous. Per capita, if you, like compare, if you compare Texas and say South Dakota, and you do their per capita, South Dakota still wins because Texas, they shut down. Nobody was out there. Think of it. Think of it like chicken pox. You got chicken pox as a kid. And then your friends were invited over so they could get chicken pox too. It was a pox party. Because once you have it, you have, you've built up an immunity to it. But then later on in life, you could possibly get shingles. Well, I'd, ra I'd rather risk you know, getting shingles later on than you know, worry about getting chicken pox as an adult and dying from it. It's ridiculous. I mean, this is bullshit. I mean, look at our, look at our, our cases. We didn't do much testing. We didn't do much testing. Didn't do anything, and then all of a sudden, boom! Right here is where we. Right here is where we, we uh, clo closed the country, and then decided that we're going to test every last person that we can fucking find. And, and we, we tested, tested, and 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 tested. It's just ridiculous. The, the news is everywhere. everywhere. And then you, you got the active cases, and you have the recovered, and then you have the fatal. Well, if you look at the, look at this little graph right here, this little guy right here. This little guy right here. The gold is active cases. The green is recovered, and the purplish grayish is the fatal. Look at the, how small the fatal is. It is one third the size of the recovered, roughly, you know, one half ish, because you know their little dot system is is all screwy. But I mean, six to one thousand, and then one hundred and twenty two thousand. But then you look at the the active cases. Now, if you compare the, you know, take this logic here and put it over here. This right here. Well, let's say you start here and you work your way back here. This right here is your cutoff point. All of this is going to be recovered from here to here is going to be the deceased. You're worried about nothing. Big nothing burger. Let's just get on with our lives. Go about our business. And open the fuck up again. 